my friends we're coming at you again with another video 2d reaction force this time we got something a little bit different we got a bracket that's hanging off the wall and it's got two pulleys on it those are not eyeballs okay <laughs> and this is concreted maybe into the wall or it's welded on right and so uh, they ask us to find they tell us the radius of each one of these pulleys is 0.4 inches and they ask us find the reaction at point C which is up here where this is concreted into the wall okay this so if we're talking about reaction forces this is one a different one we had we had pin connection last time what do we have this time this remember is called a fixed support okay this is the fixed support okay so to solve any one of these, what are the reaction force problems? Any one of them. Step one, it needs to be automatic for you, right? Draw a free body diagram, okay? And look, when I grade my students' papers, I am looking for that. And if you don't have that on there, how you, the, the equations are based on that. So how are you gonna write equations if you don't have that? This is so important. And students are so lazy. Draw the free body diagram. Okay, here we go. I can say that because mm, I'm lazy too. I'm the king of the lazy people, so that's okay. Okay. All right. And when you have pulleys on these kind of things, be sure and just leave the pulleys on, okay? Don't, don't take them off. Just leave them on the free body or on the, uh, the part that you're drawing, okay? So there's my, now it really does look like a pair of eyes, right? What? Okay, I need you to push pause and put the arrows on this. Complete this free body diagram and it has to be 100% correct, okay? Don't get anything wrong, all right? So push pause and I'm gonna draw it and we'll come back. We'll see if we get the same thing I do. Ready, go. All right, are you back? All right, here we go. Okay, um, so let's put on the external loads first. Now this is a little bit tricky, right? So over here I have a rope and it's five pounds, okay? Now, let's see, if I got a rope going over a pulley, what is the rope tension over here? Mm, it's also five pounds, isn't it? It hasn't changed. So what do I have over here? Five more pounds, okay? Now, some of you may have done this, okay? You may have done this. Okay, I cut the rope there as well, and I had that, right? That's still correct, but what does this five pounds and that five pounds do? They cancel each other out, right? So this might as well not even be there. So that's why I leave it off, okay? I mean, you can put it there if you want. It's not incorrect but it just causes you an extra step right in your equations that's not necessary to be there, okay? And then there's point C. What's going on up there? Okay. So it's a fixed connection, a fixed support, and fixed supports have an X, a Y, so there's a C, uh, oops, there's an X, there's C, Y, and they also have, this is the one that students usually leave off, they also have a moment okay now I look at this right this five goes down so CY needs to go up this one goes to the right so CX needs to go to the left and then I look at these guys right put my finger here this one makes me rotate counterclock this one makes me rotate counterclock so my reaction moment needs to rotate me clock right and that way I know that I'm gonna get positives now if you don't understand that and you just guessed these, that's okay still, because when you solve these, you're just gonna get a negative and that tells you, you assumed the wrong direction, but that's okay, okay? So let's do, let's do X and Y first. This is super easy, isn't it? If, uh, if X, if this guy goes this way, then he has to be equal to that guy. So only the other guy in the X direction, right? So CX has got to equal five pounds. Okay. And what did we do? We just did the sum of the forces in the X in our head right there, okay? Same thing for the Y. I got that guy going up and that guy going down, so CY must be equal to 5. 
Okay, and that guy comes from the sum of the forces in the y. Now here's the question, how do we find MC? Okay, he's fun to have at a party. He's MC. Okay, how do you find that guy? Well, you know what, we can take the moment at C. But if we take the moment at C, won't it knock MC out? No. You don't knock moments out. Why don't you knock moments out? Why do you knock forces out? Okay, because what's the perpendicular distance to that from that force to that point? It's zero. Okay, the reason you knock them out is because the distance is zero. But moments already have the distance in there, so you can't knock that guy out. So I drew him clockwise. So I'm just going to put minus MC. Okay. Now I've got this guy, which rotates me. Let's see, put my finger here. Mm -hmm. um, that's positive, isn't it? Plus 5 times how far away? How far is it from C to this guy? What is this distance right there? Well, it's 1.8 plus the radius of the pulley, which is given as 0.4 inches. So that's 2.2. Okay. Now we've got this five, put my finger here, that guy rotates, oh, uh, that's positive two, isn't it? Times how far from C to there is a six inches plus another radius, so 6.4, right? All right, so move the MC to the other side. MC is equal to calculator on um, 43. And that is inch pounds, right? Because this is in, in inches and the forces are in pounds, okay? And so there you go. And what does the positive mean? That moment is counterclockwise. No, no, no. That means that I assumed it the correct direction. I'm sorry. It, it means that I assumed it the correct direction. I assumed it clockwise. I got a positive answer. I assumed it the right way, okay? All right, so there you go. Little equilibrium problem, and this time it was about a fixed support. Let's see what it's gonna be about next time.